Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right, so uh, let's see what Capricorn are to experience in the upcoming week. And the first thing that we're going to have a look at is going to be your uh, relationship life, guys. And just let me uh, let me shuffle and see what you got. Alright, so the first one, uh, that is going to be the hangman. Moving next, we do have the Eight of Wands, followed by uh, the Knight of Cups. And the last one here, that is to be the Six of uh, the six of Wands. So quite of an, an interesting thing. Uh, once again, the cards, uh, we do have the hangman, followed by uh, the Eight of uh, Wands. After that is going to be the Knight of Cups. And the last one here, that is going to be the Six of uh, the six of Wands. So let's start with those that are completely single. Now, according to those energies, because this is an energy reading as it is a general one. Now, according to those energies, um, uh, that week... It's highly unlikely that somebody new is just gonna magically appear uh, appear in your life. In fact, you do have much more chances with the person that you do have interaction currently. But that is if you do decide to do it. So that is given to you by the Knight of Cups sitting into the third position because the Knight results are only based on your personal performance. So that being said, if you do not reach out, if you do not kind of like show interest in these kind of stuff the week is going to be completely inactive for you in terms of uh, in terms of a finding a, a new uh, or rather like not finding but kind of like um, igniting a uh, a new love interest nonetheless uh, even if you do not ignite any new love interest throughout the week by the end of the week here as we do have the six of uh, the six of wands uh, then you are going to how can i say it then you're then you're a, uh, a social circle will start to open in the sense of that you are going to start foreseeing a new opportunities or kind of like a new people that actually can do uh, and that's all that you're going to see for that particular stage that these people actually can do and maybe you are going to decide to uh, to try out with either with either of these people and under trying out, I mean, you know, casual conversations, dating, hanging out and this kind of stuff. It's just seeking those peak of experiences that you do need in order to get yourself to a, a definitive decision. Is it really worth going on with this one or not? But for the duration of the week up until the end, it's highly unlikely that some of, like, some of that kind is gonna come around. That is because we do have the hangman 
And Hangman, by definition, uh, especially into the first position, it does point to lack of um, lack of opportunities. The Hangman stands as a uh, simultaneously breakthrough and test of faith. And under a breakthrough, that is a breakthrough where you do see things in a different way, in a different perspective, meaning that you do see person, uh, type of individual, right? Not just, not a specific person, but type of individual that previously you have not even considered being your friend. Now you do see them in a different life through a different perspective. As you can see, the man is dangling on the tree, upside down, seeing the world upside down, therefore seeing the world in different perspective. And by doing so, that will wider your, um, your options available by the end of the week, but for the duration of the week itself, not at all. And additionally to that, we do have the, the Eights of Wands into the second position, which just only strengthens uh, this, uh, this particular statement here or this particular standpoint that there won't be any, uh, any options available for the duration of the week, but you can only make up from the current options available you do have. So no, no new ones, but you can make it up with those that you do have at that particular point. So uh, that is for those which are single. Now, those that are in a uh, relationship, all that they have to do is just do nothing, okay? In the sense of that, if you do experience any uh, problems in there, you do have any suspicious, you know, or you are feeling uneasy, uh, uneasy and kind of like unsatisfied or uh, uncertain and insecure, all that you gotta do is just wait because you are feeling that way because of the changing of perspective. And once the perspective is changed by the end of the week, you're just going to start experiencing again those um, peak of experiences that you previously had with your husband or a wife, with your partner, with your person of interest, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But once again, it all comes to you know how well you are to incorporate yourself in it or how much you are to incorporate yourself in it. Because with the Knights of Cups into the third position, all depends on your personal performance. In love that is. You perform poorly, meaning you disregard or rather like you are Acting ignorant, well, ignorance is what you're gonna get, okay? You are, uh, you are inactive, inactivity it is what you're gonna get. So the night encourages you to chase the dreams of your heart and you should make no compromises with those that are not willing to offer you the dreams of your heart. And for that reason, uh, it's highly unlikely that you're gonna have a new options available for the duration of the week, but after that, do a your change of perspective once again. Those options available are to uh, wider and open themselves. All right, so that was uh, about your relationship. A bit, uh, how can I say, um, ambiguous probably is the word that I should use reading because uh, it could pretty much manifest itself in, in many different ways. Uh, but let's have a look what your career uh, has to offer. All right, so the first one is going to be the uh, Queen of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, uh, followed by uh, the Two of Pentacles. Uh, and the last one is going to be the Eight of Wands. Uh, that, that is quite interesting reading. So uh, unlike your uh, relationship and love, uh, your career cycle throughout the week will be all but in activity, okay? So you are going to have to be extremely active and, and very engaging as well. That is also very important because by having the Queen of Pentacles into the second position in terms of energy, you are in a danger to pretty much um, overwhelm yourself with, uh, how, how do I express this? with tasks that are already done. And you may think that there is 
something more that can be done to them, but there isn't such thing, and therefore you are in a um, you are in a danger to waste your time trying to uh, maximize uh, potentials that you think that they are unexplored, while there are no such potentials. So that being said, here information and being forewarned is up of a. Of a up, oh my God, up of a most importance, right? And it is highly advisable as well for you, uh, Capricorn, to take on to, or to rather like undertake a challenging, uh, challenging projects and challenging activities. Challenging to a point where you may think that you do not have what it takes, but actually whatever you try to do throughout the week by uh, working under the energy of the Queen of Swords, you will be always going to be able to push it through to a certain extent. So if I were in your shoes here, I would have undertake rather short term, um, rather short term enterprises, a short term in a sense of that they can be finalized throughout this week, because obviously the uh, energy of the Queen of Swords is not going to be with you uh, for the rest of your life, or it's not going to be with you next week, probably. So you want to utilize or capitalize on it throughout the week itself, where whatever you take on or undertake, uh, you can pretty much push it through, no problem whatsoever. And uh, having the two of pentacles in the third position, it does point that you are going to be extremely adaptable uh, in a sense of that there will be no problem for you whatsoever to let go of concepts that does not serve any purpose anymore for your current undertakings and adopt a new concepts that are to allow you to pretty much become more productive, more successful, more lucrative, and etc etc so uh, what i'm trying to say here is that you're not going to have any particular plan you know but you're going to go by step by step planning the next step based on the results of the previous step and that is exactly what is going to dictate your productivity and your gonna, productivity is going to be through the roof right uh, with those cards but you always have to keep going you should not stick into one place or into one thing for more than a few hours or for more than a day uh, so no no delayed results are acceptable in your particular case in term of career throughout this week so where that whole thing is leading to uh, we do have the eight of ones at the end of uh, at the, for the end of the week or the for the finalization of the cycle of the week and eight of ones it is where you are to be addressed with uh, some kind of propositions or some kind of an opportunities um, addressed from either the universe or from other people and you have to be very smart about it because not all of them are going to be meant for you in the sense of that not all of them are going to be reciprocal to your skills and I don't want to say that you are that you are not skilled but say your skills could reside into the um, IT field while you may be approached by a game industry company and your skills may not be reciprocal with uh, what skills are demanded there. So my point here is that while the opportunities are going to look good, you know, you may kind of like put yourself in a, a trap by your own judgment, not by not that this trap was set for you intentionally, it's just you went into it because you thought that, you know, you can handle it. So Again, those, when those opportunities come, come around, uh, you pretty much need to face them with clear-headed mind because here it is either all or nothing. And uh, yeah, I mean, you risk to lose a lot if you do bet on the wrong horse. Uh, those that are a jobless or unemployed and they are trying to find themselves a job, those cards encouraging them to try something different, to try something new, something that they, that they haven't tried up until now to try to work, okay, uh, to try to work on. And uh, even if they do have doubts within themselves that they will be able to manage it, they are to be surprised how easy they will be able to push the things through once again. So that being said, Capricorn, uh, this was your weekly tarot readings, guys, um, for the upcoming week. Hopefully you do enjoy them and you do like them and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.